<laughs> I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. You're going to learn why I made this motor. Why well, I didn't make I didn't make it. Luminaire made it. And you're going to learn why I chose 2407 as the size for the motor that I put my own initials on, and why I picked these colors. Too. Why? Stay tuned. I always say that I only want to put my name on a product if I can actually bring something unique to the product. I don't have to reinvent the wheel, but I don't want to just slap my initials on something that already exists, maybe change the color and call it mine. And that's why it's taken me so long to come out with a JB branded motor, even though it's kind of an obvious choice. As long as you're going to have a product line, shouldn't there be a motor in it? The story of this motor actually begins Months ago, the first time I flew the EFA 2407 motors, they are were spectacular motors. And when I first flew them, I thought, this is this is my favorite freestyle motor. You can go back and you can search my channel for the EFA videos I made to see <laughs> my impressions of those motors. But there was a problem. As far as I can tell, EFA kind of just dropped off the face of the earth. I don't know if the owner had some personal problems, medical, I don't know what the deal is, but suddenly, right about the time that I liked his motors, nobody could get a hold of him. And I said, well, if I have to make my own version of these motors in order to get the flight characteristics that I love about them, then that's what I'll do. So if you want to think of this motor, this is not the best freestyle motor in the world. This is a tribute. <laughs> to the best freestyle motor in the world. The JB 2407-2500KV. The 2407 size of this motor is going to raise some eyebrows. Most common motors for freestyle and racing today are 2306 or 2207 size. But I want to assure you this is not just a case of marketing one-upsmanship. Uh, the 2407 stator size gives a great combination of responsiveness and reasonable efficiency. And what it means is that freestyle pilots don't have to prop down to get the smoothness that they want. So if you think about the sort of consummate freestyle prop, it's like the HQ 5x4x3, a four inch pitch prop. And that is a very, very smooth prop. And especially back in the day before we had really powerful motors, it was one of the only ways to get smooth, reasonably prop wash free flying. Today, we see freestyle pilots running maybe 5x4.3, maybe 5x4.5, but that's kind of the limit. With this motor, you can fly a 50-50 prop or a 5x4.8 if you want to prop down a little bit and get all the, the thrust, the pop, the speed, the sort of punch up above the trees, boom, fly to the moon. You can get all of that without giving up smoothness. And that's the major design goal of this motor. Now, that's not going to be for everybody. Some, you know, I wouldn't expect to see like a schizo or a, definitely not a Mr. Steel flying this kind of motor. Those kinds of pilots are looking for linear throttle, smooth acceleration, and they have a different flight style. This is, I've always said that I have a little bit more of a dynamic flight style where I really want to be bang, popping the throttle, punching up, accelerating quickly. And the problem is that by, with, with other motors, by the time you prop up to the point where you can actually get that dynamicism, you also are giving up a lot in terms of handling. So that's the point of this motor. It's not for everybody, but maybe if you're listening to this, it's for you. Okay, guys, so here's a test flight. This is the Catalyst Machine Works Smooth Operator coming in at around 650 grams with a session on it with HQ 5050 props, 5050. <laughs>
there you go. That is, let's see, fly time, 2 minutes 40, and we're resting at 15.0, so. The first thing that people ask when they see the 2407 size of this motor is, is it going to kill my batteries? And, well, look, if you're running a 50-50 prop on a 650 gram freestyle quad, it's going to pull some amps. You're going to want to run this on good quality batteries. But I know that freestyle pilots, they want to fly for two and a half, three minutes. They don't want to just have to fly for a minute 30 and then land. Most of us, Maddie, I know you're the exception. <laughs> And so we designed it with the, the magnets and the winding and everything else to be reasonable in terms of amp draw. And when I fly this with a good quality battery, I get the same two and a half ish minutes of flight time that I normally get resting at 15 volts at the end. So it's a very flyable prop. Don't let the, the big stator size uh, turn you off. You're not going to want to fly it with 45C batteries, but 90C, 100C, CNHL packs, no problem. Speaking of motor size, how much does it weigh? With the full length of the wires, it comes in at about 38, 39 grams, maybe 38, 37 grams if you cut the wires short. So it is not the lightest motor out there, and that's a given for the 1407 size. It's definitely going to make that up in terms of thrust and responsiveness. And, you know, a freestyle quad, if you've got an extra 15 grams here or there, you probably can tolerate it. Again, that's a personal decision. A guy like Mr. Steel, who's always going for this ultra lightweight quad, that's... This is not the motor for him. <laughs> now, some of you are surprised that this is a Lumineer motor and not a hype train motor. And I mean, I got to speak to that. Uh, the, the real answer has nothing to do with politics or manufacturing quality or anything like that. The real answer is that I've actually been working on these motors since like December, November of last year. And I just hadn't hooked up with Rotorite then. If, if I had started working on these motors in January, they probably would have been a hype train motor, but the deal was already on the table at the time that I came on with Rotor Riot. And I'm very happy to have, I mean, I'm sure Rotor Riot would have done a great job with them, but I'm very happy to have done this with Lumineer. The guys at Lumineer are just absolute fanatics about quality. Uh, like, for example, the very first batch of motors that came off the line they did their dynamic vibration testing on them and at the just the top end of the throttle, they were just slightly imbalanced and they found that the jig they were using to insert the shaft was like off by a few microns from square and they went back and they just scrapped all those motors and they, re, they fixed the jig and they redid them. That's the kind of thing that, I, you know, a lot of people would have just run them off the line, gone, eh, it's okay, they look good, and then sold them. And I'm very, very pleased that Lumineer can deliver that kind of quality and consistency and support. Obviously, GetFPV has just top-notch customer support. So if you have any problems with these motors, you know you're going to be taken care of. One effect of making these motors with Lumineer is that they are not the cheapest motors out there. They're about 25, 26 bucks a pop. And I feel a little bit bad about that because a lot of times I've, I'm always trying to look out for folks who don't have the most amount of money to spend on the hobby. My flight controller is only 35 bucks. There's never a, a JB signature markup. I never do like a celebrity markup on my products. But when I went for motor design, I really feel like motors are a place where if you can spend a little bit more money, you do get a lot better quality in terms of consistency, in terms of durability, and in terms for freestyle of smoothness, not just when they come off the line, but also after taking a few hits. So we've got top quality bearings in here. Everything is strong and it just, I really feel like this is a place where it's worth it to spend a little bit more if you can. And if you can't, obviously no hard feelings. All right, guys, that is your introduction to my motor. Oh, one more thing I have to address. Why purple and yellow? I like those colors. You'll notice the sidebar on my videos is like Betaflight yellow. Yeah, and then just purple is my favorite color other than yellow. So when they asked me what color I wanted the motors, I said purple and yellow. And I think they look amazing. Look at that metallic purple and the nice sort of gold yellow and if you hate purple and yellow, then I, for, you know, I get that. Uh, no, it's not because I like LSU or the Lakers. That's a total coincidence. I just, those are just the colors that I like. And I hope you like them too. I know they're a little flashy, but uh, 
If you don't like them, maybe if we sell a bunch of them, we'll make like a black edition for you guys who absolutely hate the colors. Sorry about that. There you go. That is your introduction to my motors. And if you try them, I, I want to hear what you think of them. Let me know. Tell me in Facebook Messenger or email. Tell me what you think of them. Definitely run them with a heavier prop. Don't waste this motor on like a 5x4 prop. Don't. Do you do a 2206 or 2207? That's not the right motor. But if you want to try freestyle with a truly heavy prop and get a little bit of a different experience, let me know what you think. Hope you like them. Link in the video description so you can buy your own. Happy flying.